Once, in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills, there lived a young clockmaker named Abigail. Her workshop, tucked away on a cobblestone street, was a wonder to behold. Inside, the rhythmic ticking of countless clocks filled the air, each one telling its own unique story. But among all these marvels was an ancient, intricately carved timepiece that had never worked, despite Abby's countless attempts to breathe life into it. One crisp autumn evening, as the setting sun bathed the village in a golden glow, a young woman named Lila wandered into Abbas's shop. She was new to the village and had been drawn to the clockmaker's shop by the enchanting sound of chimes drifting through the air. As Lila browsed the shop, her eyes fell upon the broken clock, its ornate design catching the fading light. Why doesn't this one work? she asked, curiosity evident in her voice. Abigail smiled wistfully. Ah, that clock. It's a mystery, truly. I've tried everything, but its secret eludes me. Intrigued by the challenge, Lila asked if she could try her hand at fixing it. Abigail, amused but doubtful, handed her her tools, nodding with a twinkle in her eye. By all means, give it a try, she said. Lila set to work, her fingers moving with surprising skill and precision. As the hours slipped by, Abigail watched, captivated by her determination and the gentle hum of her concentration. The room grew quiet, save for the sound of her efforts and the steady ticking of the other clocks. Finally, just as the moon reached its peak in the night sky, a soft click echoed through the workshop. The clock's hands began to move, and a melodious chime filled the air, more beautiful than any Abi had ever heard. Her eyes widened in amazement. How did you do it? she exclaimed. Lila smiled, a hint of sadness touching her eyes. Sometimes it takes a fresh perspective to solve an old problem, she said softly. My father was a clockmaker too. He taught me that every clock has a heart, and you just need to listen carefully. Abigail nodded, understanding dawning upon her. The clock's steady tick-tock seemed to echo the rhythm of their shared passion for the craft. From that night on, Lila and Abigail worked side by side, their bond deepening with each passing day. The once silent clock now stood as a symbol of their newfound friendship and the timeless magic of seeing the world through another's eyes. And so, in that little workshop nestled between rolling hills, the magic of time continued, woven by the hands of two dedicated souls who had found each other through the ticking heart of a once-broken clock.